Thomas Laval has come through Manchester United's academy. After two years of loan spell at the Fretton Park, Laval returns to Manchester as the championship playoffs winner and the most important player for Portsmouth with already very respectable career stats at only 19 years old. We are going to overhaul this team completely. After the previous season results, we are going to sell players including star names, players that represented Manchester United during a very long time. We are going to change the philosophy and a go-to formation for the team. With this in mind, I think we can use you in the flanks. But to be completely honest with you, you got a serious competition up front, so if you want to leave the club, I will understand. That was harsh from the manager, but Laval is willing to stay to fulfill his boyhood dream to play for Manchester United at the Theatre of Dreams. So he decided to stay and fight for the spot in the team, although it's going to be extremely hard as the front three of Rashford, Garnacho and Hoyland are going to be the main force of the team and also Laval had not the best preseason, playing only 15 minutes and not impressing at all. Manchester United spent a huge amount of money during the summer transfer window and completed really solid transfers, bringing in Bubakar Kamara from Aston Villa to play as a holding midfielder. Turkish left slash right back Ferdi Kadirlu and a most important transfer, they managed to bring in Matthias De Ligt from Bayern Munich to play alongside Lisandro Martinez. These reinforcements were absolutely needed and Manchester United is looking solid as ever. They demonstrated an excellent performance in Liverpool in the opening day of the season. Rasmus Hoyland made himself a brace to start the season with a very important win. Although they were losing points quite often playing as a visitors, at the Old Trafford they were looking much more solid. Another brilliant performance from Hoyland, a goal and an assist against Burnley. But on the contrary, Thomas Laval was still waiting for his chance to play an official game for Manchester United and the Europa League was a great opportunity for him. The first game against Fenerbahce was a fun one. Teams did not hesitate to attack and score. Again, Manchester United was relying heavily on Hoyland and he continued to deliver and just after his goal, it finally happened. Thomas Laval is coming in instead of Alejandro Garnacho, but to be fair, it was not a dream debut for him. Although he was playing with a great desire, fighting for every ball, demonstrating his skills and abilities on the ball, in the end it was not a debut he could have dreamed Death. And Laval waited for his second chance quite a bit and he got it in the game against Wycombe at the Old Trafford once again. He came in in the second half and was very close to score a signature long shot but he hit the crossbar. That's too bad. What a goal it could have been. Manchester United continued their winning streak in the Europa League. This time St. Pats was struggling against the Red Devils and Thomas Laval got yet another chance in the second half. But he did not have a single proper opportunity and once again was leaving the pitch with zero impact on the game. This bad form was an indicator for Ten Hag. Maybe Thomas needed more time to adapt to the highest level and he missed a game against his former club Portsmouth in the Carabao Cup where Manchester United managed to win and progress to the next round. But in the league United started to lose the points especially against the mid-table teams like Everton who managed to grab a point against the Red Devils at the Goodison Park. Manchester was only 7th after 11 games and Laval had a stinker of a season so far with 3 appearances and 0 goal involvements. The next time Thomas Laval played for Manchester United was in the last game of the Europa League group stages against St. Pats. Surely this was his game, he was going to shine and indeed he got his first assist for United with the same kind of an incisive pass that he used to perform in Portsmouth. He found Muniz who did his job there perfectly. Perfectly. In January, Manchester United had a very tough sequence of the games, losing to Arsenal in the Carabao Cup and to Liverpool in the Premier League. They were only fifth in the table with somewhat decent chances to fight for the Champions League spot. But for Thomas Laval, the most important game was against Stock City in the FA Cup round of 32 as he started the game in United kit for the first time in his career. Although he could have been nervous, but instead he pulled this one out from 30 yards a magnificent Trivella, quite a way to score your first goal for your dream club. He also provided a perfect ball to Garcia who scored the second one. Laval left the pitch with the loudest ovations from the stands, surely fans are loving him. 
Despite this fantastic performance, he was not chosen for the next round game against Aston Villa, where the hosts eliminated Manchester United from the FA Cup. And after that, Laval started to get some minutes in the Europa League matches. Clearly, Ten Hag did not count on him very much. The first quarter-final game in the Europa League against Newcastle ended 2-2 and both teams were trying their best to win the second one. But clearly Newcastle were pushing for the win harder. They had good scoring opportunities this game but Andre Onana was unbelievable that night and it went on to the post-match penalty series. Both teams were good and scored all their penalties until the last shot when Andre Onana saved the kick from Joel Linton and Rasmus Hoyland sent Manchester United through to the semi-finals. Although Laval has scored his penalty, other than that he was very quiet that day. Next up in the semi-finals, Manchester were facing Wolfsburg and the exact same scenario was written for this match as well. First game again, 2-0 draw and the second game, although Wolfsburg were slightly better on the pitch, the score remained nil-nil up to 120 minutes. Another penalty shootout and another flawless sequence of the shots. The tension was growing. Who is going to crack under that huge pressure and miss the penalty that can be the decisive one? And no, Thomas Laval puts his shot wide. What an awful attempt. And Pablo Torre grabs the winner for Vosberg with a Panenka shot. Such a heartbreaking moment for the young Englishman. He let the team down and apparently he is all on his own. After that miss, there was a hate agenda towards Thomas Laval in social media. The fans were not happy with his season either. 11 games, only a single goal and 3 assists. Another mediocre, trophyless season for Manchester United and the fans were blaming Laval. So he made an eye-opening decision to leave the old Trafford. He immediately got an offer from Liverpool, but with all the love he had for the Manchester United, he rejected that offer. Soon enough, Gian Piero Gasperini approached Manchester United for Laval's transfer. And in a matter of days, it was done. Thomas Laval moved to Bergamo permanently. It is going to be hard for 20 years old player to adapt to the new reality, to the new league and new teammates. It will take some time. So let's see what will happen. Other than Laval, Atalanta made two other major signings, bringing in Torino star centre-back Alessandro Bongiorno, as well as Pepe Lu from Valencia for the pivot position. As Gasperini prefers gegenpressing as a tactical vision, Laval should work hard on his physical stats to make the first 11, but for now, he is on the bench. And to be honest, the start of the season was tough for Atalanta. They got only a point in the starting two games, with the draw against Sassuolo and the loss in front of the home fans from Lazio. Thomas Laval made his debut for Atalanta in the Champions League match against Wolfsburg, where both teams were not in their best shape, a goalless draw as a result. Another loss happened in the next fixture from Real Madrid and Atalanta was risking to not qualify for the playoff phase in the Champions League. And in the Serie A as well, things were not good either, cause Atalanta were losing points constantly and were out of Champions League spot after 10 games. Despite having regular playtime mostly from the bench, Thomas Laval was struggling to adopt to the new country and the new league, having only a single assist in 8 games. Slowly but surely, he started to get more and more minutes on the pitch and Atalanta regained their confidence in the Champions League with the win against Slavia. In the next game against Monza, Laval was a starter finally and he paid off to the manager already in the 14th minute by scoring his first goal for the team. And when things just seemed to normalize for the team and Laval himself, an unfortunate tackle from two opponents simultaneously sent Laval to the hospital with a broken ankle. Three months on recovery, this much time he is going to miss out. But surprisingly, without Laval, Atalanta continued their winning streak both in the Champions League and in the Serie A, only losing points to the big three regularly. Thomas Laval recovered from his injury before the first match in the Champions League round of 16 against Atletico Madrid, where Atalanta dominated most of the game and only the brilliant goalkeeping skills demonstrated by Jan Oblak kept Atletico in the game. And against all the odds, even conceding from Iran Kunda in the 16th minute, Atletico somehow managed to win this game and got the advantage before the second match at the Vanda Metropolitana, where the only goal from Griezmann ended Bergami's journey in the most prestigious European competition. 
that was a serious hit to the club, especially after they got eliminated from the Coppa Italia as well, losing to Milan. The only thing left to do was to perform in the Serie A on the highest level to secure the Champions League football for the next season. And after the series of wins, mostly due to a great form from Laval and especially from Ademola Lukman, Atalanta indeed made their way up to the fourth position and secured the Champions League football for the next season. Despite playing only 24 games, Thomas Laval had a massive second part of the season and contributed 15 times becoming one of the most important players for this team. But the next season promises to be even more challenging. As their leader and the best player of the team, Marco Carnesecchi left for Juventus. A huge blow for the team and to replace him Atalanta signed Michele De Gregorio from Nottingham Forest to be the number one of the team. Alongside this transfer, new faces have come to Bergamo. A very talented center back from Ecuador, William Pacho joined the team. To play on the right side, Atalanta got the transfer of Junior Tina Epimbe. And last but not least, Samuele Ricci will be sharing the playtime with Pepe Lu in the center of the pitch. With the slightly changed formation, Atalanta started the season in the Serie A with a match against Milan. Even though Milan opened the score in the 61st minute, 10 minutes later Atalanta managed to find the equalizer and grab a point at the San Siro. Thomas Laval was adapting quickly to his new position as the only center attacking midfielder, but the competition where he was at his best was the Champions League. He scored his first brace for Atalanta in the opening match of the group stages against Galatasaray to start their campaign very firmly. In the next game against Ajax, he got an assist in the 58th minute when Theon Cook Miners opened the score and in the 64th minute Laval scored himself after the lovely locked pass from Dina Ebimbe another man of the match worthy performance from Laval. Eventually Atalanta ended up the group stages on the second position, only two points behind Liverpool. But in the Serie A, their results were even more impressive. The second place after 26 games, just four points behind AC Milan, whom they are going to face the next game. And it was a stall game, with not a lot of opportunities to score. But in the 77th minute, Larsen scored the decider after Laval's cross from the corner kick, and Atalanta made a huge statement in the Scudetto race. Meanwhile, in the Champions League round of 16, they lost the first game against Borussia Dortmund 2-1, and they needed a miracle in the Signal Iduna Park to qualify for the quarterfinals. In the 43rd minute, Thomas Laval scored his fifth goal in the Champions League this season, after the brilliant individual play. It was a quiet game after that goal, and it went to an extra time. But everything changed in 118th minute when Borussia got the corner kick and managed to somehow squeeze the ball in to kick Atalanta out from the Champions League. Second year in a row, exit from the round of 16. But in the Serie A, Atalanta managed to keep the first position right until the last two games where they had to face Inter Milan, who has the same amount of points in the league, and Juventus, who are just behind Inter in the table. Nearly impossible task, but four points in two games against the best teams in Italy will secure the Serie A trophy for Atalanta. But first things first, they need not to lose to Inter at the Giuseppe Miazza who started the match aggressively and already scored in the 13th minute. They had even more chances after the goal, but Di Gregorio made some massive saves to keep Atalanta in the game. But to be fair, they were struggling to create a goal-scoring opportunity. Is this going to be the end of their dream? And there is still a little bit of time. Atalanta need just one goal. And here it is, the chance. The one last combination in the 88th minute, Laval found Lukman in the opponent's box and he chipped the goalie to equalize. This point leaves Atalanta in the first position just before the last game. It can be the decisive, the winning point, but for that they had to beat Juventus in the last game of the season. And it is not going to be easy. The old lady started the game with a golden opportunity, but Fagioli hit the crossbar. Five minutes later, Thomas Laval created a pocket of space in the opponent's box with a fake shot and got the opener. What an amazing turn and a shot. Juventus tried hard to score the equalizer, but every chance they had, they missed. And that's it. It's going to be a madness in Bergamo. Atalanta have just become Italian champions for the first time in their entire history.
mainly due to incredible performances from the 22 years old Englishman throughout the whole season. What an amazing twist for him after being a failure in Manchester to become a hero in Bergamo. And as a result of such an influential season, he got an interest from all the European grants and particular Spanish teams are looking very closely for him. But for now, Laval is preparing for the Euros 2028 with the England national team. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel and in case you missed out on the first part, click here to watch it.